Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel. This is Emily. She's hanging out today. I'm a beginner. <laughs> she's going to do her first um, rapid cure quick. Uh, she's going to be doing her first uh, cup using quick cure. Um, I'm going to be helping her. I'm going to be also working on a gradient glitter ombre. I'm terrified. She is. So I was going to get her all set up, but I figured, you know what? You guys might want to see the setup if you have never used quick cure as a base coat or as a coat for your tumblers. Um, so I figured we'll have this going on while you guys are joining with us. Um, so what I'm having her do is we got a bunch of paper. You can do this with parchment paper. I can't find our parchment paper here. So we're just using computer paper. Um, hi guys. Um, and this is going to be for, um, her, like what she catches her glitter with. So, uh, she doesn't mess it up. You do not need an assistant to do this. Um, but it's her first one. She's super nervous. So I'm going to be doing it with her. Um, so I've got a bunch of paper to catch the glitters. And so then what she's doing is, oh, let's see. Hi, Lynn. Is she is presetting the glitters up for herself. I have her putting them in little medicine cups so it's easy to pick up and sprinkle out. And um, I'm going to be doing, she's got her cup painted in white. I've got mine base painted in this beautiful soft lavender. Um, if you are over watching us on Facebook and you want to jump over, just jump over to our Little Ian Rose YouTube page and you can watch from the bird's eye view over here. Um, so I'm gonna be doing um, the gradient ombre, sorry, the gradient glitter uh, geode. I need to grab the gold one. So I'm gonna be using some of the same glitters as she is. Um, she's decided she loved all the, bag, the colors that were coming out in the swag bag this month. Um, so she decided to grab those and use those as her glitter colors. Um, if you don't know what Swag Bags is, it's something that we do on our website. It's a, a monthly subscription, and it's a goodie bag full of epoxy art things and, and crafting supplies, and it could be anywhere from epoxy to UV resin to stir sticks to glitter to uh, turners to mixers to silicone molds to silicone products to uh, and really anything that pertains to the um, awesome uh, crafts that we like to do here at Little Ian Rose. If you've seen me use it on a tutorial, it is probably gonna someday peep, pop, poke its ugly head up into that one of these swag bags. We have a lot of fun curating what goes out in each bag. Um, the swag bags actually come in three different sizes. Um, we have the gold, the diamond, and the big daddy. Um, the gold is $35, and what's the most fun about that is we cover your shipping cost. So if you pay $35, we do not charge you shipping. We cover your shipping cost, and you get a minimum of $35. Um, she loves Oliver. I love Oliver. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just added another color. You guys, this is Oliver, and he's a holographic pink, pink, you stink, and I love it. I love it. You guys all know Oliver over there. She's been Facebook. talking about it for three days, so I'm not surprised she jumped up and grabbed it. Um, so the gold bag is $35. Um, you spend $35, we cover your shipping, and you get at least $35 worth of goodies. We have never once ever sent out a $35 bag. They're always overstuffed, so you get super value in your bags. Um, and then we have a diamond bag, it's $75. The gold bag and the diamond bag have different products in them. Um, so the diamond bag is the same idea. You spend $75, we cover, for your, we cover your shipping. Um, you guys don't need to be staring down at nothing. We cover your shipping um, at the $75 price. And the bag is at least $75. And again, we've never sent out a single bag that's valued at $75. It's always over and above. So you're getting like a super good value in your product. And then we have the Big Daddy because we had a lot of people that love our products. They were getting them and they just loved everything. So they were signed up for the gold and the diamond bag. And our way of saying thank you for being so supportive of our company and what we do here at Little Liam Rose, um, we decided to start the Big Daddy. And the Big Daddy is the gold and diamond bags together in one bag. You get all the products from gold, all the products from diamond. We put it in one bag and we drop the price $10. So instead of $110 that they were spending for the two different bags, they now automatically get two bags in one and it's only $100. So we knock $10 off the price. We still cover the shipping and they get an overstuffed $35 bag, an overstuffed $75 bag combined into one just uber stuffed $100 bag and we cover your shipping. So if you want to join in on that, today is actually the last day to sign up for this month. Um, today is the 13th. We do close down swag bag sales on the 13th, the night of the 13th, um, because we ship all the swag bags out on the 15th. So we close down by sales by the 13th. So we don't have anybody accidentally um, folding over and, and missing a bag. So we close it down from the 13th through the 17th. So it will close down tonight um, at midnight. Um, 
Central Time. Um, so if you want to get in on this month's bag, it is awesome. If you want to see some sneak peeks, you can jump over into our Facebook group and check out the most recent lives. We've done some sneak peeks of what's coming in. Um, if you want to sneak peek the glitters that are going to be in it this month, um, Emily and I are both going to be using some of them in this live with you guys. Um, and uh, if you miss the mark for today, anytime after the 17th, you can sign up as well and you will receive the next month's swag bag. So if you are watching this live and it is not currently live and you missed the 13th kind of, don't worry, you can go to our website and grab your swag bag and get signed up for it. It is a monthly subscription. What's really cool about the swag bag is you are not locked in. Um, it is a monthly subscription, but you are not, we don't force you to stay for a year or whatever. You sign up, you, you get one bag, you realize you can't afford it or something happens. You can always pause your sub subscription or cancel your subscription and there's no penalty. You just sign right back up when you're ready to go again. Um, and it's a lot of fun. We just, we put it on subscription so it makes it a little easier for us and a little easy for you guys. Um, there's a lot of people that get bummed um, if they miss out. So they, we, we've made it a subscription so that nobody misses out. You just gotta go in and cancel when you, um, if you don't want it. You wanna make sure you cancel before your money draws. Um, so you can go to our website, iwantglitter.com. Click on subscriptions and you're going to see the swag bag there. All right, here we go. Um, so Emily is going to be doing um, the, I'm, I'm kind of forcing her to use some quick here. Oh, I was going to say leave it on the stick. Leave it on the stick. Leaving it on the stick. Yep, and that's going to make it easier for, so you have a handle to turn it. Okay. To sprinkle your glitter. All right, so she is going to be working on a hydro flask. I'm going to be working on a 22 ounce fatty. This is an 18 ounce hydro flask. Um, I just put them on the website for sale. Um, so it's a new size that we have never offered before. They were in last month's swag bag and we ordered um, a few extra. So we just put them on the website yeah, for sale. These were in swag bags last month. Oh, tumblers, fun tumblers. Oh, look at this awesome. Look, it's one that has like a straw that's attached to it and then folds down so you don't get it all gooey. The website is iwantglitter.com. Super easy. I want glitter.com and click on subscriptions. Oh, Tammy says this was her favorite swag. Last month was her favorite swag yet. Nailed it. Nailed it. Wait till you see this month. This month. I feel like every month we outdo ourselves. I know. I feel yeah, like we try to. Setting the bar too high. I, I feel, well, I feel like we just constantly push to make the next bag the best bag. Mm. So we're kind of like, we're kind of like um, the show The Bachelor. This is the best bachelor ever. <laughs> Now, we're, we're constantly hunting down some really cool products for you guys and I will tell you what there's we sneak peek some fun stuff in this one and it's pretty awesome there's like all the glitter wait so and we always say we don't always tell you what bag it's gonna be in gold or diamond but if you get big daddy you're guaranteed to get everything so this is Emmett oh yes Emmett's one of them so Emily's gonna these are the glitters Emily's gonna be using I'm using is this, this That's is Xavier, Xavier. I wish, can you, can I pass that over? To, no, yep. so that you can show yep. the them. And this one is Spencer. So there's Emmett. There's Xavier. I'm also showing everybody on Facebook. We are live in two locations there's right Spencer. now, guys. Spencer, look out this like is Alyssa's lavender. favorite. This is um, the pink one. Should I put it away already? Here. This one is called. I mean, this looks like, this literally looks like diamonds. This looks like when you, um, Carter. This one's called Carter. This one looks like when you, um, in the movies, when they find the treasure. This one's kind of blowing out. Sorry, you guys. You guys it's so sparkly. This is Matthew. Matthew's a holographic fine fuchsia. This is not in the swag bag, but this is my favorite glitter right now. Second to Maui is Oliver. I'm really into pink holographic right now Oliver and this was in palette C palette C does it have a name the Royals this is the Royals palette C it's gold with green holographic bars if we have any of the palette C left it's going to be under today's deals and there's probably only like five or six left if there's any they might be sold out yeah we didn't look I didn't look yesterday or today all right. Um, all right. So Emily is going to, I'm going to start with her. Um, I'm going to be working on mine. We'll be in, ultimately working simultaneously, but she's never worked with the quick cure before. And we've been using the quick cure a lot in the Facebook group. And I've done it once a couple times when we've been live here on YouTube. Um, but it's been phenomenal because if you need to get a quick uh, cup done really, really quick, the quick cure cures in 10 minutes. So you can put your hang method layer of base on here. Add your, huh? They're seeing your face. They're not. 
I'm, I know, but we're, fo we're focusing here. So um, the quick, <laughs> you say this like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do it every day. Um, so the quick cure will cure in 10 minutes. So you can put your base coat down, lay down your glitter. It will grab onto it really, really hard and cure in 10 minutes. What's awesome about that is you can still press it down just like you would do um, for like burnishing and, and flatten your glitter down nice and flat. You could do your following coats in the Quick Cure. Our Quick Cure is FDA compliant. So you can do the following coats in Quick Cure and you could do all the coats except for the, you can probably get the final coat. We've not actually done a final coat in Quick Cure, but we've, we've gotten it all done except for the final coat. Then we put one last coat of our regular pouring art epoxy over the top let that roll overnight and then it's done. So in theory, you could do one cup and have it ready in three days. So, because you just have to wait for the, the three day dry time on that final top coat. And the reason I say go with pouring art epoxy so you get that perfect smooth top coat. Um, the quick cure, if you work a little too, bit, too, too long on moving it around, um, it will start curing up and it might not have that smoothness. It might be a little lumpy bumpy from your fingers touching it too much for too long. If you cut out earlier, it will self level a little bit before it cures. But again, to get that super glossy, perfect finish, you would use our pouring art epoxy. Which so, is back on the web. So oh yes, it's finally back. Epoxy's back. Epoxy's yes, back. Yes, it's back. So we were sold out of epoxy. We finally got all our epoxy back up on the website. It's here. Um, we launched it on Friday. Um, these are the Quick Cure bottles. They are small but mighty. Um, these are awesome. This is Quick Cure A and B. You mix it equal parts by weight. So I, we will be putting this on a scale to measure it. You want to put it in a cup, whip it fast. You don't worry about bubbles because you're going to be coating it up with um, glitter anyways. So you, you stir it really, really fast. You want to stir it in under 60 seconds. Get it on your tumbler um, because, again, it does cure. It, will, it starts curing the minute you start um, mixing it, um, and you just want to get that done as quickly as possible. Hello! Um, Eric is throwing some shade and says that Emily clearly partied this weekend because she looks tired and she's not her energetic self. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, ding, ding, Emily, ding, ding, ding. Emily got home at 2 a.m. and had to be back up working at 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 7.30. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Emily's toe up from the flow up. Toe up. Yeah, it was our friend's birthday. I had to leave and come home because I'm a mom. We had ki our kiddos and our nanny was only there for so long. But she stayed out. I mean, we boat drank for like five hours yeah. and uh, in the sun, boat drinking. And then I went to, I took a shower and then we went to a dive bar, food truck place. And then we went to a live music bar and then we went to another live music bar. It was a lot. You went bar hopping. Yes. In your young 40s. My young 40s. <laughs> All right, give me some mixing cups. The babies. All right, so we're gonna take this. I need more paper. No, I got a lot. Okay. All right, so Emily is going to be doing this part. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix for her, and she's gonna apply. So you only need about five grams. I'm gonna mix her a little bit more than five grams, though, because it's her first time and she's a little nervous. So I'm actually gonna make her um, ten grams. But you really only need five. Um, but you do want to have. You normally for hang method, I would only use. Um, like two grams, one gram of A and one gram of B. Uh, but with hang method, you do need a little bit more because it, it, you, you do not have time to fiddle with it. Like sometimes with hang method, you have to really pour. And um, so with hang method, with the quick cure, you need to move quicker. Am I stirring this or are you stirring this? I'll stir it for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, this fan is really wonderful. Part B normally smells horrible. It smells like I rhino can't farts. smell it at all. So, yeah. So, remember, guys, wear your chemical respirator and your nitrile gloves. We do not have a respirator on because we're well working under, directly underneath a extremely high-powered ventilation fan. That's also why we're sweating because we it, having the air conditioner on in this room is pointless because it just sucks the air out of here real fast. All right, get your cup ready. I'm going to pour it down on the top. Oh, Jesus. Here, hold it up. Okay. Hold it up. Okay. Up. Oh, oh this way. Oh, yeah. we're going down. Yes, you're going to go down. Oh. Oh, dear. So you mix it real fast. And apply it quick. There's so much. Oh, I don't know if I got to the other side of the cup. Come here. Take a little more. Don't 
rinse. I am it only stressed. has to be tacky for the glitter to stick. So you're not, the first time we did this, we were like in go mode, like hardcore as fast as we possibly could. And then we realized you actually have a little bit of play time because it doesn't, it's, it, even though it, it starts curing up right away, um, it stays tacky. So, I mean, you just have to get the, the, the first coat to get your glitter on just needs to get on. And then you have t work time. Is it bad if it's like, more in some spaces than other spaces no not when it's when it's quick cure if this was regular epoxy yes you don't want it to be thick because it will drip but because quick cure cures so fast um it won't drip it doesn't have time to drip down the, the tumbler okay i feel like that's all the way around okay so now pull your pull your glove did you get Off. your grooves yep okay switch get another glove i'm gonna pull your tape My hands are sweaty. Here, you don't actually need it. You, here, just put this, because you don't need gloves on for this okay. part. You're not going to um. touch it. All right, so now she's going to swirl her, her glitter, and I'm going to pull the paper as she switches colors. I just touched it. Okay, switching. Pick up the cup. Wait, next. Oh, okay. Oh, Emmett is so pretty. Oh, Henry just got a hydro flask. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my God, you guys, these sub box glitters. This is gonna swag look bag. like, I'm so swag bag glitters. This is gonna look like a unicorn cup. You guys are gonna be obsessed. And for all of them. Oh. Dude, I didn't wait for you to pull it. Did I screw I got, up? no, 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 I pulled it. I was just cleaning, there was a little, little over. Oh, I forgot to put these colors on the lips. It's all right, which color do you want to go back to? I don't oh, know, I, I got you more. Can mix, I got you can more. mix this. Are you sure? It's fine, yep, yep, yep. Because Oliver, Matthew is part of Oliver. Okay. Okay, which color do you want I to go I got gold, I got to get gold. Oh, I don't have enough paper. I asked if you had enough paper. We'll make a dump bucket out of this one. I didn't realize you had more. I didn't know you had the gold as well. Don't forget the butt. Oh, the butt. You can always smash the butt into what's on the paper. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But I need to put, um, here, I'll just put some more olive oil on the top. Nope, you wanna go with something fine, because otherwise okay. you're gonna have a rough time covering uh, the lid. I'm gonna go this one. Should make a little dump bucket happen down here. Uh, Jessica says dibs on dump bucket. So whenever you mix your glitters underneath, um, it's called a dump bucket. Oh, I didn't get any epoxy on the lip there. That's, That's right, don't forget your butt. You got a little down here. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go smash it. Okay. Smash mouth from butt. Okay. I feel like that was a good butt. Making sure oh, I got... Oh, that dump bucket is going to be amazing. Amazing, because I'm amazing. So I normally would have just kept pulling papers, but we didn't... I didn't I wasn't well. prepared. It's fine. We did, we did good. good. You guys, look at my unicorn cup. I feel like there's too much ombre That's there. That's okay. Now you take, take it down on the paper. This way? Yep. Yeah. And you just press. I'm going to put my gloves on so I can help. No, no, Use no. the dirty one? To... No, good. no. Oh, did I miss some if it's nope. sticking to the paper? You don't paper? have time to put gloves on when you work with epoxy, with it, quick care. All right, so there you go. So I just took the paper, wrapped okay. the paper around it, tapped down that the chunky glitter. So we got okay. a nice... All right, so this is going to be the bottom for her peekaboo because her goal is to look like my beautiful cup that Jessica Hernandez made that I bought. She likes this style and this idea. So she's going to be re replicating this cup but with her favorite colors. And these are all swag bag glitter colors, except for um, Oliver, which is the chunky holographic pink. He's regular on our website. And the beautiful gold, this is Caesar, and he is in palette C, the Royals. And that is under, oh, everyone says the cup's gonna be gorgeous. It already is gorgeous. So um, Caesar is only available in palette C, and that's under today's deals, and it's called the Royals. And that's a palette of five different glitter colors. Emily, it's beautiful. Thanks. So now you're gonna stick it over here, and that one's just gonna, 
cure for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll do a quick cure hang method over the top of it. Okay. Does it matter that I, like the top right there didn't get any no. quick cure? No, you won't really see it because you put the lid down. All right, so now we've got Do I need to powder. wipe off this lip right here with paper towel babe, that's like going onto my lip? Nope, that's good. You're good. All right, so now I'm just taking the papers, folding them, and then pouring the glitter back in with its, its family. I'm gonna squeeze this one more time. You can't, it'll be too sticky and I'll grab the paper. You can only press the paper around it right at the beginning because once that quick, quick, uh, quick cure is really, oh you man, just my bad. Oh, and that was a good color too. Well. Don't buck it. You guys all super look dumper. this awesome, super, what color? Carter is all going in the dump bucket. Unless I want to put more on. Too late. Oh. Too late now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me get a little baggie and maybe we can give this away. Oh. oh, we got this. So we've got a two ounce dump bucket that we're going to give away on this live, you guys. This is a big old dump bucket that I made. Are you? Oh, that's so beautiful. Jessica, Jessica Hernandez says she gets dibs on this one. Jessica Hernandez, you're the inspiration for this cup. Yes. Emily wants my 22 ounce leopard print you made me. Somebody earlier, and I can't remember who said that they liked the cup holder that we have. This is actually just a vase. It's just a vase. I like home goods. Yeah, I just bought big ceramic vases and I use it. But my my pole holder poles need to be a little bit bigger. Um, here, show them what they're doing. I was gonna just move it See, I just use these big heavy vases. I have about three or four of these and I just use them to stick the pole down in. Nothing fancy. All right, so now I'm gonna do. I feel like you should fill it with something to make it a little heavier. And you can qu clean quick your up while it's still um, wet with baby wipes, just like you do other other epoxies. I'm so impressed that it that this fan is so wonderful. Yeah, the quick cure smells like rhino farts. Legit. Oh, Angie! Yay, girl! What color was it? She says she used her very first Little Liam Rose glitter yesterday. She's oh, like, I yay. swear I could see my reflection in it. Oh, yay. All right, so now I'm going to be mixing Quick Cure, small little batches of Quick Cure, and I'm going to be doing my gradient, um, my gradient um, uh, rock geode on my tumbler. So I have got this base painted. Oh, with Zephyr. Oh, yeah. Zephyr is like chrome. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. Um, so I've got this paint, base painted, this weird, like, rocky, like, um, I call it cement lavender cup. Hi, Jennifer. Um, rhino farts. I call them rhino farts. Um, so I've got a paste painted this beautiful lavender color. Um, I don't know what, you guys always ask me what paint it is. I painted this really, really fast. And I didn't even pay attention and I know the look, but I didn't. Oh, yes. We, yeah, Facebook has been a, kind of a pill with people's responses and comments and stuff. We don't know what's going on over there. Um, all right, so I am going to be using some um, crushed glass. I've got lavender and white. I've also, I'm also going to be using some glitters that Emily did. These are, again, swag bag glitters. Um, I'm going to be using uh, Spencer and Xavier, just like she did. Um, but I'm also throwing in Lexington. So Spencer, Xavier, and Lexington are three of the glitters that are going to be coming out in this month's swag bags. And then also I've got two other glitter. Oh, maybe I'll use a little bit of the dump bucket that we're going to be giving away. A little dump bucket. And then I've got Naveen. He's just a regular glitter on the website. He's this beautiful, like, deep purple. And just to take it to another step darker, this is Wayne. Wayne was actually a sub box glitter. So we do have, we have two subscriptions. We have the swag bag subscription. And then we also have a glitter sub box. The swag bag subscription is for people who like glitter and supplies and goodies. Um, and that's a mix of all the things. You do get glitter. You also get like the epoxy things, UV tools, um, charms, uh, tumblers, all kinds of things in the swag bag. In the glitter sub box, it's just glitter. So you get all the custom mixed beautiful glitter colors. And these glitters are only available in a sub box. And this is Naveen. He's actually like a dark blue. Um, and it's like a midnight, super dark blue. And he was mixed specifically to come out in a swag, a sub box. So 
Um, if you go to the website, IWantGlitter.com, you can see the two different subscriptions under the subscriptions. You can click on either swag bag or glitter sub box to see what you want. Oh, this is good. It's beautiful. Here, show them off. Show them off here. Nailed it. Show me your beautiful, here, here's a piece of paper. Here's her dump bucket. Yeah. I said it looks like um, when you went on a movie when they find the treasure in the cave, this is what it looks like. There's her, that's, that's like our. Don't forget them. I, that's, um, that's what. Uh, that was more in my lap than in the cup. I mean, you should be, you should be tucked into the table. I'm trying to keep my distance. Getting all squiggly. You want to make sure they see your cute legs. All right, so I'm gonna mix some Quick Cure, and I'm gonna be mixing the Quick Cure to add my glass chips, and then I'm gonna be doing it in layers. Oh yes, thank you, yes, give us, give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. All those little things help our channel, giving us a thumbs up, commenting, just being active with us here, you guys, we really appreciate it all. So I have a teaching question. I have a learning question. So with Why don't you like bring your cup over some here? of, okay. So some of these bars, right, are sticking up, obviously. So am I going to be able to push those down, or the, will the epoxy push those down, or do I need to clip them with clippers? The epoxy is going to push them down somewhat. Okay. If they still stick up over after, once you put two layers of epoxy on, you can sand that down nice and smooth. I see. That's just an arm. That's just an arm. My bad, peeps. So she's referring to these little, you can hardly see them on camera. Let's see if we can get you sideways. Some of these little bars are just poking up a little higher. That's what she's referring to as the thing sticking up. But yes, when you have the little bulgy pieces, like we laid it down flat, but there's some of these, they're very, very, very soft. So most likely they're gonna lay down under the epoxy. But if you have some ripples, you wanna get two layers of epoxy over the top before you sand. If you sand at one layer, there's a good chance you're gonna sand through it, not to it. That's what I say, you wanna sand to it, not through it, because when you sand through it, you end up hitting the cup underneath and you start getting yourself in, into scary territory of having to repair your cup. So but I'm not allowed to touch it and push them down. You can now. It's, it's probably not going to work anymore because it's, the epoxy is going to be cured already. All right, so I've got my, my glass chips ready to go. I've also got my glitters. Um, so I'm going to be doing white glass chips to lavender glass chips, and then we're going to go into our glitter colors. So the center is going to be very 3D, and then it's going to get slowly smaller and smaller, and we're going to do this big, beautiful geode off the side of this tumbler. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of mixing cups. I'll give you a bunch. Oh, you know what? I'll just reuse these. I don't want to waste. Because if there's a little leftovers, it's fine. Okay. I'm obsessed. I can't stop looking at this cup. Also, if you want to know where to get these, there is a website called Allegro, A-L-L-E-G-R-O, Allegro Medical, and that's where I get these. They, if you sign up for their newsletter, it's kind of annoying because you get all the messages, but you get the message that says free shipping on all orders, and so you can literally order these. There are 100 cups for $1, so you can spend $3, get 300 cups, and spend no money on shipping. It's a good deal. I've been talking about this since day one of me ever teaching. Like, get Allegro Medical Cups. These things are great. Also, if your epoxy cures up in these, all you gotta do is squeeze the sides and pull it out and you can reuse the cup. Right! Jennifer. Yes, we're live, Lynn. All right. Do, do, do. I'm gonna take a break and get some water. Okay, she's just taking a breather. I'm gonna... Jennifer Horn just called me out for being hungover. Emily Hickey is so quiet today. What did you guys do last night? like I have a reputation or something. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be mixing like tiny, tiny batches of this quick cure. So like one gram and one gram is what I'm gonna shoot for. Actually, that's not even gonna be, that's gonna be one and a half grams because I just need enough to stick down each layer And I'm using our quick cure. So the quick cure cures in, sorry, whoop. The quick cure cures in 10 minutes. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna have to work quickly once I get this stirred. 
But see, here's Emily's epoxy, and it's already, you can see it's already dried up. Did I do something wrong? No, I'm showing them how quick the quick cure goes. So I'm just gonna whip this quick cure together, a small little batch. So when I originally taught this, you guys, um, I did this with super glue. So now, here we are three years later, and ta-da, this amazing product that we came out with. Now you can use a super glue. If you don't have quick cure, do this with quick um, super glue. Oh, Lynn's only gonna have internet on your phone. I get that girl, internet is freaking expensive. All right, so I'm gonna. Do you need me to assist you? I'll put some gloves on. No. I wanted to see that they can also do this without assistance. All right, so I'm gonna be putting this quick gear down. I'm gonna avoid the right on the edge, the top lip. I can go back in there with a fine glitter. I don't want this. Um... All right. I don't want those big chunky rocks up on the top. All right, so now I'm gonna go through. I've got that little wedge put on there and I'm going to put my clear rocks. Oh, those are very chunky. Yeah. Again, push them off down from the top. Cuz I can go like I said I can go in and put some thin fine um, glitter in right there. Fill in the spots. Now you can go in if you want to sprinkle some clear, like some pretty little white glitter down in the little crevices, cracks and crevices. I'm gonna leave it more natural. You have subbox white glitter though. Yeah, that's not, oh, that is subbox. Or swag bag, swag I bag. keep saying subbox. I keep saying subbox because you pretty much custom mixed every single glitter in this month's swag bag. Yeah. This month's swag bag is sick. All right, so there, I can already feel the epoxy is starting to seize these up. See, I can turn it upside down and only the, the ones that weren't stuck, well, except for that big one fell off. That whopper, stick him back down on there. Get him on there. Perfect, so I can still, there's still some play in here, it's still a little tacky. So there was some that weren't attached, but we're gonna go in. There we go. So we have the start of our little all right. Somebody just said throw back to the beginning of where it all started. Yes. The, if you don't know this, this doing this tumbler using these glass chips was the very first tutorial I ever did. So when people ask me, how did I start this company and how did it happen? I was like completely on accident. Um, I was already like a crafter and creator. Um, I worked with epoxy and when I had the babies, I had nothing to myself so my husband created a little craft corner and I made a wine glass that had a geode coming off of it and I shared it in one of my craft groups um, and everyone said how did you do that and I was like I don't know how to explain how I did that um, so they said well film it and I was like I don't know how to do that so I had to and I said but I'll try I'll, I'll figure it out because I have no problem sharing what I do because I was selling these on um, Etsy um, and I and I was like, I don't have a problem sharing what I do. I just don't know how to. Uh, and it took me almost three months, about two and a half months, to film it because I didn't know what I was doing, and then to figure out how to edit it all together. And then I didn't know how to get it. I couldn't get it posted to this Facebook group. And somebody's like, put it on YouTube. I was like, I don't know how to do that. So it was literally the, from start to finish. This sharing this t tutorial was a learning process. And if you go way back on our channel, you can actually see I'm like in the floor of my dark garage. My husband's holding the camera. One of them I'm wearing like an ugly Christmas sweater in it. It's just a goofy video. Um, but I was just back then. I was just trying to share. Um, and then. I had subscribers and people were like, we want to see what else you do. And so it started Little Liam Rose. I had another tumbler that was a bumblebee tumbler that I sold a ton of. Um, so I shared that. And then it just kind of was like, what do you, what else you got? What else you got? It just kind of slowly evolved into being something pretty rad that is now Little Liam Rose. And 
and I've always been about teaching. I never, it was never even a question whether I was going to share what I do, even though it potentially could have imp impacted my own business of selling tumblers um, and my arts and crafts. I, I was always there. I always wanted to create and, and share my creations and teach others to possibly start a company that would help them be self-sustainable or get them working for themselves or so, so and so like it was never a question. What are we doing now? I am going to add the next layer of chips. So now I'm making the next batch of quick cure. And you cannot use the same cup for quick cure twice, correct? You can, like, but mine, it just needs to cure up. Oh. Mine was so still gooey. I actually just peeled all ears was so cured. I was able to just peel it off. Like a that was yours. Booger. That oh, was your was? original one. Oh, well, my original one, I just peeled it off and cleaned off the stick like a giant booger. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mary Jane. All right, so I'm going to be doing the next round of glass chips here. And the quick cure, what is the cost of the quick cure on the website? I feel like it's $16, but maybe I'm making that up. Let me look. All right, so now this next wound, wound, wound this wound. next wound, this next round, I'm gonna go along the outside of this. And we're gonna start layering in oh, the lavender. Let me go get some, 2250. Now let me go see how many are back there. Oh, are we sold out? Yeah. Probably not for real. View inventory history, order created online. Manually All right, M's, M's gonna go check to see if we have any in stock. We sell it out every time I go live using it because people are like, oh my God, I can make a cup in three days. And it's really affordable. All right, so now I'm doing the next layer. And so now I've got the lavender little glass chips so we're gonna go in it drips a little bit down the cup I'm not even gonna be concerned about that these little glass chips um, I get them at some of them I found at the dollar store so I found the clear ones at um, Dollar Tree but these colored ones um, these lavender ones I got from Michaels and they're just in the floral department that put them, people use them in vases and stuff Pressing it on. And you can see the different texture between the white that I got at the dollar store and the purple. And the white I found them, those are from the floral department of the dollar store as well. So there you go. We're starting with the clear. And then we've got the purple. Scott's gonna shuttle him back in there. We'll scoot back in there. Get back, in, get back in line. And this is why Quick Cure is amazing. Look how fast that is. Look how fast that grips, guys. So if you've gotten the Quick Cure from us and you've been a little shy to use it, get on it. Don't be scared. Just dive in. That's what we always say about everything. Don't be scared. Dive in. If anything, go to the dollar store. Get a couple wine glasses um, and practice on a 99-cent wine glass. That is what I was doing when I started this. I was getting the dollar store wine glasses. I was making geodes on them and I was selling the wine glasses for like $40 a set for two. So it was like $20, $25 a piece. Okay, I'm not gonna hydro dip this cup. So this cup is going to be glitter only. Glitter and, and rock chips. Uh, <laughs> this, this shirt, somebody made this for me. Yes, our, our quick cure is FDA compliant. It is, it is, it is. It comes from our same manufacturer as our regular curing art epoxy. And um, we told them it's required. It's a requirement. You've got to work until, we worked on our formula until we got one. It stinks as all get out, but once it's cured, it is um, food uh, FDA compliant, food, food safe. All right, so for the next part, we're gonna start diving into the glitter bits. The little rock chips everywhere. So now we're gonna start layering in our colors. And so what we're doing is, it's gradient colors, and so we're gonna slowly go darker, 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 darker. So it's gonna go light, and then it's gonna the, the glitter colors are slowly gonna get darker and darker and darker as we go down the cup. 
until we have the very darkest wane. Oh, that's fine. That one should be okay. Okay, and I made the case. Because okay. that's what this is. Then put it up. Yep. Go top, okay, Emily's working on getting our inventory for the pick here back up. Emily's working. So the quick here will be back up in a few minutes. She was just checking inventory. Um, okay, so um, I'm gonna mix a little, let's mix a little layer of quick here. Let me see, I need a spoon. A little cup. See, our workspace is very messy. I'm the messy one in our house. My husband is a neat freak. I'm very lucky to have a neat freak husband. Oh, I don't see, oh. Thank you, Cassie. All right, so I'm going to make, where did I put the other half of my quick here? I only have part A in front of me. You guys, where did I put part B? Oh, it's right here. Okay, okay so I'm gonna make another like one gram, one gram little mini batch. We're just making these in little small tiny batches. So this is going to be one gram total. Perfect. One gram. All right. So we're just going to stir this guy. So when you guys are watching over on YouTube, if you will give us a thumbs up, that is, it means a huge, it means a, a, a mountain to us. Just click the little thumbs up button if you like it. If you're enjoying the live, we really appreciate it. It means, it's a very simple thing for you guys to do and it does mean the world to us um, to have those little, those little things show up for us. All right, so I'm just gonna be taking the quick cure and putting along the outside edge here. And just kind of swooshing my, my little stir stick around. You can see it doesn't take hardly any. This is one gram. And I'm just sticking it in there, laying it down flat. Okay. And now we are gonna be using Spencer. And I'm gonna just shimmy Spencer onto that little because this is a, this is not an ombre tumbler because I'm not blending the colors as they go down. It, I would call it more like gradient. It's slowly going to get darker. The purples are going to get a little darker as we go down the cup. Tap it. All right. So this is Spencer. This is one of the glitter colors that is going to be in this month's swag bag. It's either going to be in gold or diamond. I believe this one is in diamond. Well, it'll be in go it'll be in diamond and Big Daddy. This color. Spencer is a diamond glitter. How ridiculous is that? All right. If you don't know what swag bags are, if you're joining us on YouTube and uh, I said almost said TikTok, if you guys are joining us on YouTube and you're not. Um, uh, and you don't know what a swag bag is, if you're just joining us. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you for the $10. Elizabeth just sent us $10. For, for service dogs? For service dogs. Anytime you guys send us money on YouTube or on our Facebook group, the money is donated to a service dog program. And we just presented our first, our second service, fully funded service dog this week, this last week. And we will have the, the awesome video of that out for you guys. So the swag bag is on our website, IWantGlitter.com. It is a subscription. It's a monthly subscription that you do on the website um, in our group. If you are a regular in our Facebook group, you probably know all about it. Um, there are three options, the gold, the diamond, and the big daddy. 
the gold is a $35 bag. You, we pay, you pay $35, you sign up for the subscription. So each month it will draw out $35. We cover your um, shipping cost. So you get at least $35 worth of product, but we always overstuff the bag. So you're getting more than $35 worth of product. You're not paying for any shipping. And we put amazing things in. You can see just from this, like this is just our, our just the glitter that's in there, let alone all the other goodies that we put in the bag. Um, the diamond swag bag is $75. There's 30 um, up. Okay, there's 30 quick cures on the website right now. We just upped. So those will probably be gone by the end of the day. So there's 30 quick cures. It's $22.50. It's up on the website right now. And that's at iwantglitter.com. So the $75 bag, again, it's 75 minimum of $75 worth of oodles of goodies and craft supplies and epoxy art th things and things you'll need for all the crafting that you see us do here on Little Lane Rose. Oh, look at that. I know. That's um, so pretty, Summer. We cover your shipping and we overstuff it. Oh, thank you, Amy. Amy said go. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Thank you, Amy. Did they get a close up of yeah, this? Yes, I already showed Did them. Facebook get a close up yeah. of this? And then the Big Daddy, the Big Daddy is where like the ultimate value is at. We had a lot of people that were signed up for our gold bag and our diamond bag. And to kind of say thank you for those people for being amazing and really supporting our programs and the things that we do here at Little Liam Rose, like service dogs. Um, we put the big bad daddy together and what the big daddy i need that what oh, the big daddy is what the big daddy is is it is a combination of the gold bag and the diamond bag put together in one bag um and the gold bag is 35 dollars. the diamond bag is 75 dollars. and what we did was we combined the two bags and then instead of 110 dollars, we made the price 100 dollars. so you could basically get two oversized bat overstuffed bags put into one bag and then the price reduced and that is the big daddy bag and it's 100 dollars. And again, it's on under subscriptions on IWantGlitter.com. So the glitter that I am using on this cup today is sub box glitter, I mean, sorry, swag bag glitter um, that will be in this month's swag bag. All right, so I'm gonna do my next batch of quick kia, quick kia. What, am I supposed to be doing something next for this? Um, no? That's just letting it cure for now. Getting nice and solid. All right, so this one is going to be about a, a gram, one and a half grams. What is your next step you're doing here? I'm putting the next layer of color. Next layer of color, I see. Next color of glitter. All right, so I have one and a half grams. You can see it's hardly anything down in the bottom. I'm mixing it very, very quickly. Oh, you want a swag bag. And today is the last day to actually sign up for swag bags to get in on this month's swag bags. If you missed the cutoff from um, tw midnight um, central time today, uh, you will have to catch us on the 17th when swag bag subscriptions reopen. We close down um, uh, signups from the 13th through the 17th. Uh, that way we don't have any overlapping or anything where there's any confusion about who's getting what bag and when. So you have to be signed up by the 13th to get the the sub box, the swag bag, sorry, that goes out on the 15th. So today is the last day to sign up for swag bags for this month. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have to catch us on the 17th when sales reopen. And then you will find, you will be, at that one, you will be receiving the next month's swag. And I will tell you guys that you wanna get in on this month's swag because this punk right here, right here, <laughs> for those of you on, on YouTube, she overfilled all the bags. like more than was authorized so <laughs> the diamond bag is full of 84 dollars worth of stuff this month instead of 75 and the gold bag is full of like 40 42 dollars worth of stuff instead of 35 dollars stuff which means that the big daddy bag is like the monster daddy bag not the big daddy bag because it's only a hundred dollars and you're getting like I don't even can't even do the math that fast. Like $130 worth of crap stuff. So Summer did this all behind my back and I was not able to stop her in time. And now you guys benefit from Summer being a punk. I'm a punk. I'm a punk. All right, so this is Xavier. Oh, it's so pretty on the paper. I don't know if you guys can see this. So you, it's, so you can see one is like, this one's a little bit lighter and Xavier's a little bit darker. So again, we're just, oh God, it's so sparkly, you almost can't see it. All right, I'm gonna pour that back in there. 
all of it, not just if this. Are you going to do another one or can I dump this thing? I'm good. That's it. Next, we're moving on. We're moving on. And then I use my glitter ducts to press. You can see that there is some glitter that kind of sticks onto the, just by static, onto the, the paint job. And I just use my glitter duster brush. Again, this is a little tool that we have on the website. And it's a very, very delicate brush that just gently brushes all that glitter off. This works beautifully when you're doing ombres and you get your ombre on there and then you just take this brush and you can dust over the top and it will just remove any light bits of glitter that are on there and cleans up that cup really, really well. It also, like I love it for just cleaning up my workspace. You can see you just dust your glitter together. I'm gonna use that to dust off this one and put it all back into the bag. It's, um, so, um, can somebody drop the link for her? Um, cause somebody's having a hard time finding the website. Uh, I want glitter.com. She said, I, it's not, she said, I want glitters not po poking up. I can't find your website. I want glitter. Uh, yes, I did. Carla. Of course I did. You guys know I love my geos. I was tagged like a hundred times, but I love it. Is there anybody on YouTube that can drop that um, link for, um, I'm sorry, the comments are going um, for Frankie. When it's just www.iwantglitter.com. And it automatically reroutes you to Little Lee and Rose's website. So if you're not finding it, maybe it's because it's pushing you to Little Lee and Rose and you think it's a mistake. Oh, yes, yes. So our company is named Little Lee and Rose and the website is iwantglitter.com. Can you go on? I'm YouTube? trying to get on YouTube. Okay, I'm I've got to watch a Democratic headquarters video. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to keep moving. So, oh. Oh, I think she was finally landing on the Little and Rose and being confused. So she's got it. But thank you. Yeah, we, we're, the company name is Little and Rose. Girl, Tina, you're trying to give her credit. I'm the queen. Uh, That's my shirt. I was going to say, it says Emily's the queen. Oh, you're the queen. Yeah. Oh, I thought she meant because I did something nice. Is it time to do my glass now? No. No. So I mean it. Um, all right, so I'm going to do another now what color small are you doing? dollop. We're going to be doing. Don't nope, we're going to be doing Lexington. Oh, that's a pretty one. Can I put um, this one back in the bag? Yep. Look at me cleaning, guys. Okay. If you guys think that I've been upgraded to assistant, you're not correct. <laughs> I've not been promoted. I just got lucky. Well, if you want to, make sure you're signed up by midnight tonight, um, central time. That's your last cutoff for swag. Oh, I usually cut it off at eight. Eight Pacific, so that's 10 o'clock our time. But I guess I'm keeping it open later. <laughs> Yep, that's a yes. Do you have comments up, up here? See, we're up, because but YouTube, I'm on YouTube now. You, I, yeah, that's what I want is the YouTube ones because I can't, the YouTube, um, see, it disappears on the screen so they can. Thanks for making it stuffed. I'm always excited to get mine, Jen Copeland says. You're welcome, girl. So freaking pretty, Shelby says. Emily couldn't do anything about it because she showed up and I, the girls had already started packing the swag, so it was like, these are humongous. And I'm like, hee hee hee, too late. Oh yeah, I would have legit pulled something out. <laughs> for sure. I was like, you're $10 over on every bag almost. Stingy pants. Just kidding. Sarah says, you're making measuring that looks so easy. I'm always struggling to get it just right. Sarah, as long as you're within the same ounce. like if it's Well, not when you're doing half a gram. Oh, I'm wow. literally doing a tiny amount. But what's nice about the quick cure is it has like a little squeezy hole, like, uh, like a salad dressing hole on top. So you have a little bit more control. So what I do is I pour the one that doesn't have the salad dressing hole first. So I kind of get, that's the one that gives me my gauge. And then the one with the salad dressing hole, I, I do second. So it's a lot easier to control what's going in on the second one. So 
so I'm going in, adding a little bit more. Okay. So now we're going to be using Lexington. So we're starting to get a little darker and a little darker and a little darker. Is this one the darker one? We're going to use Naveen. Oh, this is so satisfying. I think Naveen is the next darkest, so we're going Naveen. You should have made a pride geode. That would have been fun. Swag bag colors are purple. Oh, yes. That's right. I went swag colors. Sorry, I was concentrating. All right, so there's Naveen. I had, I'm not kidding. We have so many haters. It's not, there's just people who are trolls. But somebody was um, under one of our beautiful ads that we put out was like, oh, I went to the website unimpressed. I went and they were just plugging some other glitter company and like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, you must have been on someone else's website because. I mean, I don't know how you can't see that sparkle and not be impressed. So just be a hater on somebody else's page. You go away. I didn't respond because I don't engage. You guys know I don't engage because I don't like drama and I ain't going to get in the middle of any of it. But I mean, straight up. And her spelling's atrocious. Clean as a whistle. I'm like, I know what kind of glitter I got. I don't need you to validate me. But I'm like, I will delete your comment because you're trying to advertise for somebody else's glitter. <laughs> I am that petty. Um, all right, so one more. We're going to do one more. I'm going to do Wayne. Wayne. Look how pretty. This was a subbox glitter that was named after Bruce Wayne, wasn't it? Yep. Because he's, is he blue and, no, what? Yeah, this is, is he blue and black? This is midnight blue. Yeah, because it was kind of like Batman colors. Midnight blue. All right, one more little mini batch. Ah, Cassie. She says they best back off. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm, I even read to Emily. I'm like, I can't believe what people will say. I'm like, you're, first of all, and it's like, they're clearly from another glitter company. Uh, oh, and it was funny because the comment they had dropped before that, before they did anything, they said, I really wish I had a job working in glitter. And they said, it's the best job ever. I don't know. I think being a professional napper would be the best job ever. <laughs> you I'm would think saying. that's the job. You would like that to be your forever job. I would be so good at that job. I'm at her house, right? And I don't sleep period and so I definitely don't sleep in the middle of the day and she goes I feel like right now would be a really good time for us to take a break and take a nap I'm like you think I'm gonna nap I'll just stare next to sit, sit next to you and stare at you napping so instead I made her walk over to the horse and go meet the oh, horse yeah then I was like she's like oh let's just go meet the horse which is what she had told me was like right here no so we had to like go on a hike to see the horse not. I live on half acre property so we had to walk an acre and a half but then we had to walk an acre and a half to their property and then we and then go we had all to go the way around back, back of their, of their property. property. So it was like yeah. another acre. Well, she's like, see that fence? That's where we're going. So then we went to that fence and then we went around that fence and then we walked around the whole property and then to a whole nother set. I'm like, girl. And it's just calories burned because then we had tiramisu and pot and like all kinds of delicious. And she's stuff. like, but there's a horse. I'm like, you know, I live in Texas, right? People like ride their horses to the grocery store. And legit, I saw somebody I'm ride the horse to the grocery store. stop her because this horse is all white and he's gorgeous and his name is Romeo. So. All horses are gorgeous. This is exceptionally gorgeous. He's got to have some kind of draft horse in him. He is enormous. Enormous. Like it's not, it's the build. He's got the draft build. I do know my horses. I want him. So I have a master plan and I hope Patty's not watching because, well, I mean, if Patty's watching, Patty, this is the plan, right? So there's gonna be a five step process. Number one is meet the horse and get the horse to like me, done. Step two, meet the neighbor, get the neighbor to like me, done. Well, we're not, we're, well, we out. met the neighbor. We met the neighbor. We met the neighbor. Step out three, whether they like you or not. I'm going to take the neighbor some bread and ask some questions about Emily caring for the horse. Emily makes this amazing bread. 
I do make an amazing bread. Caring for the horse and da da da. Step four, I'm gonna have her introduce me to the horse in person. Step five, I'm freaking riding her horse every single day. I can't wait. I'm gonna, cause we have livestock rights and you can ride the horse up and down my neighborhood and to the store. And I'm gonna be that person on horseback and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pet and I'm gonna like groom and take care of Romeo. And then step six, seven, eight, nine, ten, she's gonna give him to me one day. Romeo will be mine. No, I don't want to take over the horse, but I really do want to be its friend and ride it a lot. She's already, she's going to be giving him strawberries from her garden. Oh, yes. I, so I, I talked to the lady, Patty, and she's, I said, can we give your, your horse carrots? And she's like, well, no. She's like, carrots kind of like uh, trigger some diabetes, whatever, whatever. But you can give it strawberries and you can give it half an apple. So I have planted strawberries in my in my um it's raised, happening folks it, had, it is so i planted strawberries in my raised garden and i planted strawberries in my lettuce growing garden and we're gonna have strawberries galore so me and romeo we're gonna be bffs sorry summer you're being traded out for a horse um and then i'm gonna learn to brush his teeth i just can't wait me and romeo the cupston no. I know, Shelby. The glitter right. So this is Wayne. He's a sub box glitter. So if you love the custom gorgeous, you want to be in on the inside track of like our crazy custom blends, you want to get on our sub box glitter um, subscription. Naveen is just open stock, some a glitter color that we now carry on a regular basis. And then you've got the two sub uh, swag bag glitters. We've got Xavier and Spencer. Spencer is the lighter lavender and Xavier is a little bit darker. And then we just use some glass chips for the center. Um, Carla creates for the win. I've been going through my glitter and have all my Little Lee and Rose glitter and have it to where I can get to it. All my other glitter is shoved into a cart in the corner. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Iris Taylor likes my plan. That must mean it's good. So I will take a picture. I will actually post a picture of me and Romeo on the Facebook group. They want to see a post, post a picture of you writing Romeo. Oh, oh, I will. Every step of the way, I'm going to be posting these photos. I might, maybe I'll put a horse water slide on my cup. Who knows? I'll put a horse on the bottom of my cup. She's gone horse crazy, by the way. I've always loved horses, but now I have one within arm's reach. Literally, I will get this horse. All right, you ready to my do yours? Turn, yeah. Yep. All right, so Emily's up. So that is mine. We're going to let this cure up. And then, oh, I should do the whole rest of the cup. Okay, we'll get yours. We'll do yours then. If you guys haven't, this is mine. I did a swirl, just kind of like a blotchy swirl, not like a strategic swirl. And um, I'm going to put leopard spots on it, but I have to cover it with one more coat of epoxy, right? We're going to do quick cure. You're going to do. Hang method quick here. So right. I'm gonna clean while she enjoys her cup. She's admiring her work. She's showing everybody. She's admiring her work. I'm just showing everybody. I love this gold. I'm obsessed with this gold. It's so gorgeous. All right. Mix me a batch, woman. Now am I doing this the same way? Watch out. Oh, that's all over my lap. Really? I, I think it's all over my lap. Yeah. <laughs> Am I doing this the same way where you're going to plop it on the top yep, and I'm going to rub it down? down? Yeah. Okay. 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 Do I have to burnish anything? No. Okay. Move your hand. Move your hand. My foot's asleep. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to give her 15 grams for this. Maybe 20 grams. I feel like 20 grams is going to be too much though. Good. Yep, you gotta do two coats. Two coats of epoxy? Two coats of quick cure, and then sand a little bit, and then we'll put you on the regular turner. Um, you wanna tape that back off. Oh, boogers. All right, so she's gonna tape that back off. So I need to put a glitter, what color do you guys, should I put on here? Or should I just, well, I don't wanna leave it plain because there's already a couple little pieces of glitter stuck there. Why don't you use this dump bucket? Well, because I don't want it to take away from this. So if I do, ooh, you know what I should do is Cruise. So Cruise is the new shiny white. I wonder what Cruise would look on here. Look, it's beautiful. So it's probably gonna look beautiful on there, duh. Well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Or what about this aqua color? 
true, that would actually really stand out. Okay, Emily's right. Plus, I like aqua. Emily's right for the Plus, win. Plus, I like aqua. This is Emmett. Wait, this is not. Oh, sorry. This is Sebastian. Sebastian is like, you're going to see it on the cup. It's beautiful. It's a dad bod cut size. Dad bod and fine. It's holographic, but not like in your, well, it's like subtle holographic. Oh, I don't know. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, M's case. Can you hand me some mixing cups, please? I'm in the process of greatness right now. Over here, this side. This is shit. When, you, when I say hand, just give me the whole stack. I gave you three. Give me the stack. It's very meaty. She keeps doling them out to me like one at a time. I'm like, if you just give me the stack, I don't have to keep asking you for them. All right, so I'm going to do a quick cure again. But this time I'm going to use like six grams. Okay, I think I'm too dull. Oh, but I didn't get this over any glitter. Did I get too close to the glitter? Oh, you ready? Do you want to do yours first? I don't care. Okay, let's do yours first. So you I'm going to do more than six grams. Yes, I'm going to do more than Put your gloves on. I am, but it's well, just... I can't, I can't mix until you put your gloves on. Girl! Gosh, you're so needy. <laughs> Girl! Yes, we're doing it by weight. All of our epoxies are measured by weight. And in case you guys don't know, Summer and I have been best friends for like 15 years. A long time. A long time. Many years. Many years. Best so friends. We each been other. Made. Yeah. Um, these, these white ones I got at Dollar Tree in the floral department. The purple ones I got at Michael's in the floral department. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna do. Oh man, the, the my thing just turned off right in the middle. We'll just tar it. I, girl, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Girl, I know. Shush. Like I haven't done this a million times. <sighs> but this is my first time doing this hungover, and I feel like I'm on a roll. This is the cup I've been inspired by. It's by a member named Jessica Hernandez. Um, and so she did like a, a swirl leopard spot peekaboo. And so that's this swirl is going to be covered up by leopard spots and peekaboo. That's All right. Going. So Emily put up 30 of these quick cures today on the website. So, and once those are gone, it will be months, months before we get it takes a minute. I don't know that we knew that we were almost out of quick cure. I feel like it's something that should have been brought to our attention. I did not know this. There might be another box that I didn't see. I didn't look that hard. When I found the first box, I was just like, okay, that's good enough. Okay. Sorry. All right. Well, as we know right now, this is the last 30 on site. Somebody's like, I feel sorry for the nurses at whatever nursing. Are you kidding? They're going to love us. Oh, my God. We're, we're a be, hoot. You're going to be like the naughty jerks. And we're going to let our friend Lisa Hardy come we're in. We're going to have a golf cart. And we're going to cheat at cards like her grandma. Like her grandma. And My grandma doesn't cheat. She just changes the rules mid-play. We are going to prank people. And it's going to be awesome. My grandma wouldn't cheat. But she would. Their new rules would just appear in the game. You're like, wait, that wasn't a rule yesterday. Oh, it was. We just hadn't hadn't needed the rule because she was so awesome. You're gonna want to go straight up and down. Otherwise, okay. it's gonna drip right off. Husband's texting. Leave it alone, Jeff. He's probably watching this, being like, Emma. All right. So now where she's gonna do a coat over the top of this, and this is gonna be just like if you had done a coat on your Turner, uh, but she's gonna need to do it quick. So it's kind of a flood coat, it. right? It's kind of like a flood coat. Um, I'm using 20 grams. I just did this to make your life easy. So she's gonna put it on like hang method. And the reason you can use more when you're using quick cure is because it won't drip because it starts curing up right away. No. All right. Okay. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. Okay. I feel like this pulls too long and it's gonna get all over everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you 
Make sure you save some for the other side. Don't squ don't swoosh it I all to one side. Swooshed it all. Okay, here for this side. I know I didn't go all the way down. This is bad. It's fine. We got more epoxy, <laughs> girl. <laughs> what? You stuck your hand and it's all over the back of your fingers. No, it's just a little. There you go. That's good. I got a little more if you need it. Yeah, I'll probably need that because I'm not very good at this. That feels very glittery right there. Come on. All right. I'm going to put it on the top. You can bring it wherever you need it. Like this feels smooth, so I know I got this side. Oh, that just spooched down this side. Oh, it's getting hot. Oh, no. Yep, it warms up. Oh, no. That's how you know it's curing. Mm. You've got a spot right here where I put some. Oh, right there, right there. Swoop. Okay, and then stop touching it. Wait, I gotta go all the way around to make sure I got it all. Yep, do one, one quick swoosh. Mm. All right, guys. I feel like I'm gonna push these down if I see any that are up. Nope, you can't fiddle with it. Okay. You can't fiddle okay. with it. Done. Pull your tape. Assistant, grab my glove. Always pull your tape right away. Whether you're doing regular epoxy or pouring art epoxy, the molding epoxy or the quick cure epoxy, you want to pull the tape right away. If you pause with your tape, like if you put it on your turner and somebody like, oh wait, two hours. When you do that, that epoxy starts curing and you will get strings and strips and it will stick to the tape and pull it. If you pull it right away, it has a doming effect. So when you pull it right away, it's just gonna dome up right on the edge. It ain't gonna go anywhere and you're gonna get a nice crisp line. Nice and crisp. Can you show everybody your cup? I got a couple sticky alleys. It's fine, you're gonna be doing two coats and then, there we go, first cup. First one, first one. Guys, look at this gold though. So good, love it. But look at this, do you guys see this like, ah, uh, this is like very unicorny. These are the three swag bag glitters right now. Yep. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm going over to the Facebook side. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> nope, I stuck something. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the unicornness. Thank guys. you, Danilo. Danilo Art says unique artwork. This is all. This is Emily's first tumbler. This is Emily's first like intricate tumbler. The last one she did was all black. Whatever I had. No, decal. I know, but I'm just saying it was all black. This more streamlined. This, this one is like Bader Ginsburg cup. Oh, that's true. Oh no, and you did. You've done two cup. black cups because you did the cheetah print one. That one died. I never oh. finished it because Jeff turned the turner off. That's right. Husbands. All right, so there she goes. There she goes. All right, so now I'm gonna make mine. So much work. I'm going to. Now I'm gonna use mine, and I'm gonna put quick here around it, and I'm gonna use Emmet. You guys are gonna see how the Emmet oh, looks he's under. So it's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna need some. I got some more paper. Nope, I got it right here. This is good. I'm All right, so I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix again, more quick here. Look how pretty that is on camera. It's so, so good. pretty. And I feel like when you put Emmet in, it's going to make this, um, the uh, swag bag glitter, what is not, not Xavier, what's the other one? Spencer. Spencer, just pop, 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 pop. And if you guys are wondering what we do with these cups when we make them, the cups that I make on lives, we have started auctioning off in the Facebook group and the money is going to go towards our service dog initiative. So um, one of our amazing members bought yesterday's, uh, or Friday's, I'm sorry, Friday's Tumblr, live Tumblr, and the money is going to go towards, that one actually we decided was gonna go to the NICU babies. So that's gonna go towards a family that has a baby in the NICU supporting their family. Supporting uh, many families, we donate to a whole social program. So the cups don't ever go to waste. And let's be honest, I keep a lot of them. <laughs> 
She keeps a lot of them. I didn't use to, like the first couple years, I didn't have, I didn't keep any of them. I kept saying I was gonna keep them and then somebody would be like, oh, I love it. And I would end up giving it away to somebody. So like, I just started keeping my tumblers. Except for everyone that I want. She's like, oh, I'm keeping that one. Like this one. Oh, I'm keeping that one. Oh, we made this on, we made this on the live when Chris was here and I kept that one. No, there's the light pink one that you did with the enchanted bundle that has, um, like a mandala on it. Oh yeah, that one I'm keeping. That, yeah. That was the baby bright. Baby bright, it's the right palette. there. But I was specifically making that one for myself. That wasn't like, mm, I think I'll keep this. This is like, I'm gonna make this cup for myself because this is what I want. And I designed it for myself. Now everybody wants it, but I'm keeping it. All right, so here we go. I'm making a big batch. I don't need this much. Oh I don't know what I'm thinking. Awesome. You should put another layer of epoxy on it so it's good to go. Okay. All right, so I'm just mixing quick. Quick, quick, quick. And remember, you guys, oh, it's, if anybody, if you guys would be amazing, if you're watching, if you'll give us a thumbs up, just smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already hit it. We really appreciate it. And the bell to get notified when your new videos come out, right? Oh, yeah. Subscribe and ring the bell. Do -do 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 -do. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already done it. We really appreciate it. It makes a difference to us. It's a dumb little thing. It doesn't actually change anything. It just makes us feel good. Because we work really hard. All right, so I'm going to pour on the bottom. Whoop. Going to get my Emmet bag of Emmet open. Do you need to put it in a cup? Nope. I've done this a lot, so I'm comfortable with it. How many did you use? You gave me 20. Um, I made 20, but that's because I was, I, I do this thing where I start talking, I don't pay attention to what I'm doing, and I made too much, but I, that's fine. But you also have a 22 ounce cup, so aren't you supposed to use like one ounce per cup? That's only if you're doing a big thick coat. I'm kind of doing a hang method layer. Whoops. So I'm just swooping it down, going right along the edge of my other glitter colors. it in this is fun i really like working with the quick cure now again if you don't have quick cure you can do this with mod podge you can do this with double-sided tape if you have that um i'm just doing it with quick cure because it makes it nice and quick and easy for you guys you can see the finished product all in one live tape. yeah you just stay strips of tape and stick oh. glitter to it okay so i'm i am now going along this top row and i'm going to swoosh just a little bit of this epoxy on there. Like I said, we're going to put the fine glitter right up along this top edge. And don't worry about putting it on the top edge, like, because it's FDA, it's FDA, FDA compliant. And so it's fine, right? Yep. All right. So we, we're good to go. There's a lot of glitter contaminants, but I wasn't, um, you want to help you? Nope. I wasn't super worried about the glitter contaminants because, um, I knew that. I was be covering covering it up with more glitter. If I need to worry about it, I would have been more careful about having anything on my gloves. I would have probably changed gloves and stuff first. So this is Emmett. This is again another glitter that's in the diamond swag bag, the diamond and the Big Daddy, because Big Daddy gets one of everything. And Emily picked a good color. And Emily said, "Put that, put that." Oh. So there's Emmett. I'm gonna move this. You can oh, I see. So you can squish it. Are you gonna put it on the lip or no? Oh! <gasps> couldn't get it to come out. Then I couldn't get it to stop. Foul. Okay. Can we take this so you can swoosh it? Okay. Rolling it flat. 
get that glitter to lay down nice and flat. Smoosh, smoosh. By doing this, you're getting that glitter to lay nice and flat so it's easy to cover with a, the hang method layer or the next layer of glitter. Um, you saw me do this in a lot of my earlier videos. Um, you can also use a gloved hand to tap it down. So this is Emmett. He's got a little bit of subtle holographic to him. And then we have Wayne, um, Naveen, Spencer, no, that's Xavier, and then Spencer, and then Glass Chips. So when I get this covered, I'm actually gonna go back in and I'm gonna make defined lines between the colors. I love my geo cups. There we go. So Emmett, Spencer, and Xavier are, oh, sorry, Emmett, Spencer, and Xavier are all swag bag glitters. Are you, no, we, no, we don't burnish the green one, right? I did. Oh. I just rolled it. Oh, you it. rolled it. That's rolling it. Mm-hmm. So now mine will sit and cure, and we'll move on to Emily's for the next step. Is it dry enough? Probably. I think. Yeah, you just need to, you're just doing another Am top I supposed coat. to touch it? Oh, yeah. It's pretty dry. Yep. Ten minutes. More gloves. I'm going to balance this guy. I'm doing a teetering act. Boink. There we go. Balancing act. Should we do our prize right now? Do prize. All right, we're gonna be doing the prize on. Feel that? Oh, that's is it hot? Yeah. Oh, that's very hot. That's like a hundred million degrees. Yeah, it gets hot. That's how it cures. That's why, like deep pour epoxies, they actually have a low um, cure temperature because they the hotter they burn the yeah mold. epoxy yeah epoxy um, uses heat to cure. So long um, deep pour epoxy. As it goes much slower, so it takes longer to cure because it doesn't have as much heat, doesn't produce as much heat. Um, and the thicker it is, the hotter it gets if it's if it's not deep pour epoxy. So this one is gets really, really hot because it cures really, really fast. So the faster it cures, the hotter the product gets when it's curing. Are you um, gonna give away your price? Yes. Oh yes, so if for anybody that's joining and if you're curious why we're not wearing a ventilation fan, directly, I will show you guys, directly above us, right there, right there, that is a $5,000 ventilation fan. It's big enough to clear the air out of a 3,000 square foot room in like less than four seconds. It's like, it sucks, it's like, it's like a wind fan going up here. So it's pulling everything away from us before it even has time for us to breathe. Um, the way you can even, like, we know that this is working because our quick cure epoxy smells like rhinoceros farts. Straight up. Straight up. Like, horrible. And we can't smell it. Like, there's no smell to it whatsoever because it's being pulled out of the room so fast. And so I typically... That's the only reason we don't have a chemical respirator on. Um, and but I if you are working with epoxy, wear your mask. What are you doing? I'm pushing Stop all the Stop touching things. it. No, but because, but what you're doing is you're dulling the color because you're um, leaving basically, like, giant handprints all over your But I, it's my thing. I, I understand, but look how sh it's not shiny anymore. Oh, well, but when I put Stop the touching epoxy it. on, won't it go Stop shiny? Stop touching it. Stop touching it. Remember when I said, no, don't touch it? We're going <laughs> to sand those off later? I didn't want to sand them. <laughs> but they're almost all I'd done. rather ruin the whole cup instead. It's not going to ruin Meat palm, putting... meat palm, meat palm, meat palm. I'm putting... Why didn't you guys yell at me? I'm just over there unsupervised. I. But listen... Now they're all down. It's not even shiny. She's got but a matte finish cup right no, now. No, but we're putting one more coat of shiny on. It'll be fine. Says the girl who's made one cup. <laughs> it's fine. Stop doing that. I, I'm stopping. Emily, don't touch that. And, yeah. Well, I didn't know that would do that. Meat bomb. Meat bomb. <laughs> Um, do we send glitter to Spain? Mm, I mean, I can open up Spain. We can send glitter. We do send internationally. We have a, we, we do it. free shipping and internationally we have a flat rate shipping fee. Um, we are currently in UK, Australia, and Canada. And I opened up Germany and, and we, the Netherlands. And we opened up Germany and Netherlands. Because lo we love the Germans. We're not quite 
to Spain yet. Emily, don't touch that, yes. Um, but if you message us through the customer contact button on our website and say, I want you to send stuff to Spain, we can we can hand put in an order for you and we will send it to you. We have no problem sending it to you. The system won't let you do it though. Um, but if just message Dory. Dory is my best friend. She does our customer service. So just do second best friend. Second best friend. Second best friend. Go to customer service on our website, Iwantglitter.com. Click on customer service and say, hey, so I saw Summer live on YouTube. She said to reach out that you guys would send me a package to Spain and she will get you going. She'll get you started, girl. Because we can, you can just tell us what you want. We can send you an invoice and then we'll ship it all to you. So Emily says, stop or you're going to bed. She wants to go to bed, so don't tempt her with it's that. It's actually not that easy. So what happens is you send Dory a note and then Dory sends me a note and then I send the web developer a note that says open up Spain and then we tell you to go back on and order it. <laughs> See, I don't know how that works. I'm just the pretty face that makes things. Hand me some gloves, girl. Do you want just two? Or she goes, go to your corner, Emily. Seven. This morning, I was like, oh, I have a zit right here. I was like, that's glitter. I'm like, that's not glitter. It's a zit. She's like, well, there's also glitter. <laughs> I was just trying to hide my zit with glitter. Oh, boy. I need some baby I'm powder. really, like. This is the situation. Just straw that, that I, that me, it may pump, but it'll shine back up, right? It should. Just don't do it anymore. I didn't know. And if not, you just made yourself a nice flat cup. Well, no, but I'm gonna put a different, I'm gonna no, put another glitter over it. It should. What color did I say I was gonna put over? I don't remember. White, I think. I don't remember, I can barely keep track of, this is a mess. I'm gonna put some leopard stickers on it. This is, I'm very sweaty. I shouldn't have taken those gloves off. Facebook's very disappointing. Um, it you. usually is about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I always, if to like say it's cure, I would say an hour. So it's like ting, 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 like tap, 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 cure. But it's not workable. I would say you need to stop touching your cup within the first two to three minutes. Because if, when it starts getting um, cured up, it gets a little gummy. And like you will start leaving fingerprints and marks on it. So. You want to put it on and move it as quickly as possible. And even though it feels like, oh, it's good. If it looks decent, stop touching it. Because the more you touch it, the more likely you are to mess it up. I'm talking about quick cure. This is all quick cure. Her final coat will be regular. Okay, let's do this. Sweet. Okay. All right, this is going to be a nice big batch for you, girl. Oh, it's yeah. so hot in here. We have an air conditioning going, but because the vent fan is on, it's literally sucking the hot air from the warehouse into this room and pushing everything through that fin, fan. So the air conditioner is kind of thin. The air conditioner is kind of moot point, but it makes us feel like we're trying to not be boiling hot. Everyone's totally tattling on you. I saw that, Emily, stop! <laughs> and if you watched our other live where my amazing friend Chris was here, and then you're like, where's the rest of the parts? I will tell you, I had a little boo-boo arrow happen. So I loaded the videos to YouTube and they stuck. But in my back office, it showed me that two videos were still loading. And this was like a week after I had posted those videos. And it was those videos, but those had posted and then it said that they were still loading. And so I thought I must have accidentally tried to load them twice and the second load is not going through. So I canceled the load and it deleted the other one. So I'm like, I don't even know what the heck that was about or why it was doing that kind of a pain but we lost the, the following two videos where we finished those tumblers live with you guys so and that's why I said I'm like I know I know not to ever delete anything on YouTube but the videos had already posted and people were already watching them there's like 7,000 views on one of them had been up for a couple days they're literally yelling at you they're watching you I didn't do it she's the devilish laugh Emily does somebody say that no they're like that little laugh like it's, it's a devil laugh. Emily, stop, Yoli. I didn't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I'm not gonna do You're it. You're gonna need to get me a part A off I the shelf over there. It. I don't keep my jars together. I have like 10 different part, um, quick, here's part A. 
10 different quick cures open. And so the sets all get mixed up. So apparently the set didn't have the same amount of part A in it. It's her cup. She, if she wants to screw it up, I'm going to let her. It's not screwed up. It's fine. And if it is, I'll just dump this on over it. And then this will then be my be cheetah sparkly. spot. And then it will weigh 150 pounds with how much glitter you have to cover. <laughs> yep. You need to tape the top. Oh, balls. Why don't you give something away while I'm taping? We don't have time. You need to go quickly. I've got the epoxy going. Ooh, you can't get it off. You need your glove on. Not to get the tape off. Shoot, shoot, I screwed it up. Did I just waste a bunch of epoxy? No. Cassie said, if you mess up and don't want it, you can always send it her way. Cassie, Cassie Beck. Oh. Cassie Beck. Okay. Every time I see a dragonfly girl, I think of you. Um, da -da 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 -da. My two fingering or three fingering? You can do whatever Full you want. Full palming. Meat palm it. Meat palm it. See, the problem is I didn't push those down because I've just been swooshing. It's fine. Swooshing. Yeah, so it's the girl that's not going to have to sand that. Girl. Girl. Stop stressing. I got this. Can you do it over your lap, not mine? <laughs> I'm doing it over no lap. Literally, it's right over my lap. If it drips, it's going on my lap. It'll be fine. Good thing I'm wearing my crappy sweatpants. Trust the process, Emily. She's trying to create her own process. Listen. Don't reinvent the wheel, Emily. I'm trying to squish all the things down at the same time. Thank you. You got more. I do? Yeah. So stop trying to mush okay. it down as flat as you can. You don't need it to be as flat as it oh needs to be. Oh my gosh. That's a lot more. Oh, it's getting hot. We need to stop adding more. That's good. One time around. Okay, stop touching it and let it settle up. Settle it. Get the out. tape. I gotta get the tape. So, see, it's she, even though she could keep playing with it, you do want it to give a time where it does self level a little bit so that it gets rid of some of the ripply bipplies. So you want to stop moving it between before it gets really starting to firm up. Should I go like this? Oh, is that a big old, there's a chunk. It's fine. Right All right, so that's got two coats of the quick cure on it. Hi, Shauna. If you guys over on Facebook want to see us at the Bird's Eye View direct on, we are live on Facebook over here. I'm sorry, YouTube. We are li if Facebookers, if you want to check us from the Bird's Eye View, we are live over on YouTube. Direct shot. You guys get the direct shot. <laughs> Henry goes, stop touching it. I didn't touch it. She says, you examine it. It's so funny. All right, so now I, there's my cup. Boop. Right, I'm gonna show you guys the glitter duster. So I'm gonna take my glitter duster and I'm just gonna brush it very gently. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna get any little bits that didn't get grabbed by that epoxy, it's gonna dust them off. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep it from traveling around the cup when we do the, um, cause if you do the hang method, you won't really have traveling glitter. But this thing is so delicate, it won't rip any of the, gl the glitter off. It will literally just remove anything that isn't tied down. Tied down. It's free. I it's love not that down. tumbler, Yoli says. Okay, so now we're going to go in to the larger parts. 
And we're just gonna just gently. Oh, Angie Jones, you think you're real funny. Glitter duster is much better than meat pawing, LOL. Just saying. Real funny, Angie. I feel like she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> no, Danette, I am not going to put the quick cure as the final coat. The quick cure is gonna be um, a regular epoxy. The final layer is gonna be the regular. Final. But I, I'm going to, after this is done, we're gonna put some cheetah spots on, and then I'm gonna put another coat of something on and pull the cheetah spots off. Yep. 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 So she'll sand this down. She'll put her cheetah spots down. It's not a flattering angle. I stopped worrying about whether I was getting a flattering angle live a long time ago. Oh, Keza's cups. Summer, you got the patience of a saint. Keza. <laughs> I have triplets. I have to. Okay, what happened to prizes? Oh, yeah, Emily started oh, that's right. pawing her cup. <laughs> All right, so I've got this two-ounce glitter of Dump Bucket. So Dump Buckets are kind of a thing in our Facebook group. Um, what grit sandpaper? Um, 220. Oh, thank you, Cassie. So all my Facebookers, if you want to get in on the prize, go over to YouTube and get into the comments. Um, also, thank you guys for the $22.67. That's going to go directly towards our service dog program. Thank you. Thank you. So we've got this beautiful bag. This is a, um, this is just a dump bucket that I created a bunch. Of, I was making us a cup and I use these colors and it made this gorgeous dump bucket. So we're going to give it away as a prize today. So here's our, it's two ounces of this beauty. So somebody's going to win these. It's going to be a trivia. Um, all right, so we're going to do some Lily and Rose trivia. Oh, let's do the number game. This is the fun one. We're going to do a number game. We are going to guess. We're going to give you numbers to guess between, and the person who comes closest, closest in 60 seconds is going to win the two ounces of glitter. You do not have to be a current customer of ours or anything. You could just be in the comments, and you win, and... Um, reach out to us and you will win your prize. You, Chrissy, you don't even know what Chrissy's already guessing. You don't even know what numbers you're supposed to be guessing between. Chrissy's cheating. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. You guys, you don't even know. I, I tell you guys, you start this guessing situation. I haven't given you, it could be the numbers between 1,000 and 2,000. You don't know. Crazies. You ready to watch comments? I am ready to watch comments. Which, which platform am I watching? YouTube. The YouTube. The YouTube. Hi, Erica. All right. Obviously, it's 45. <laughs> I'm going to write the number down. I know, but no, somebody, somebody wrote that. I know, but I need to get the pen. All right. What's the number? What's the range? You're old. We need a head start. I haven't given the range yet. I have to. I wait. That's not a pen. That's a pen. Watch out your fingers. That's a pin pen. I want you to poke yourself. I'm going to write it on this piece of paper down here. That, okay. Here, use it on this. Oh, okay. Sure, on the epoxy piece of paper. They're gonna I'm be sorry, able to between see it. what and what? Um. Wow. Um, so between those numbers. And it's price is right rules, guys. Closest without going over. She's really thinking about her number. I don't want people to guess based on like the number of scratches that I made. So I added some pictures. You see that number? That's the winner. I'm I'm pretty sure nobody liked it. So now you gotta watch comments, ready? Erica, we are giving away this two ounces of beautiful dump bucket. So it's gonna be, a, you're gonna guess the numbers and it's gonna be the closest wins. So the way we play, no, you do not get one guess only. Angie, it's, um, you can guess as many times as you want. The comments get crazy pants. So your comment might take a minute to get through, but just keep trying. Are we setting a timer? Listen to the scratches. See, they're laughing at you. Megan's already guessing. Megan, you don't even know what number to guess in between. People are cheating. You cheaters. Megan, I see you, girl. Also, I'm just sassing Megan. She's a regular. Everybody that's cheating is a regular. <laughs> you can guess more than yes, once. Yes, you can guess more than once. Look at all these knuckleheads already guessing. Wait, let me set a timer, yep. and then I'll open up. I'm going to set the timer. It's the closest without going over. 
Okay, I'm gonna set the timer. For we have no shame. <laughs> Diane's like, I'm not cheating. Um, closest without going over, price is right rules. Okay, any marks? Not Good. me, I'm not cheating. Iris, love you guys. All right, any marks? I'm giving you one minute and five seconds so that you can Call give it. them the, ready? Okay, the, set, go. Guess between the numbers 5,000 and 6,000. Closest without going, closest without going over wins. <laughs> Show off, Karen. Megan, you're not even close. 79 is super far away. Oh, here we go. 7,000. 5,000. You watching? Because they come Damn. fast. Oh, we've already got somebody close. It's way more fun over here because your guys' com comments oh, don't have a delay. Oh, somebody was really close. It's more fun here on YouTube because there's... Um, there's no delay. And on Facebook, there's always a delay. This is really hard. Oh, there's the person that's closest so far. You're making it hard. I always write their name down when they get close and what their number is. Oh. You gotta keep watching. Uh-huh. Oh, oh time up, time, time. Last comment in is Diane Deem at 5899. So now we gotta. So, oh, this person just beat them. Oh, Crystal, Crystal Cornbow. Oh, no, that's no, not right. It was right. time. It was time after um, Diane Deem's comment. After Diane Deem. Diane Deem at 5899 was the last comment in. Okay, then it's this person. Um, I gotta find her full name. Shelby Riffy. Shelby Riffy. She guessed 5210, and the answer was 5227. Shelby Riffy, you were the closest without going over. Shelby Riffy. Ah, she wins. All right, so we're going to put your name on here, Shelby. Oops. Riffy, it's an R. That's hard. Yeah. Right. So now I gotta get leopard spots. Or no, I sand first. You got sand, but there's and, leopard and, spots right up on the counter up okay, there. The All right. So Shelby Whiffy, right, you are getting this. Because I do have to put a mask on for 220. Girl, you guess as good as mine. It's probably why like Christina's. Your guess is as good as mine. Found it. Oh, and there's cheetah spots over here. Oh, Angie, maybe, yeah, I don't know how Facebook works. I mean, YouTube works with re repeat, um, rapid guessing or rapid commenting. It might think you're spamming. All right, so now I'm going to, I'm gonna leave and that's how you win a prize, folks. I'm going to leave and go put on my desk mask. Okay. All right. Way to go, Shelby. It's just like a light right, sand so, of scoring, right? Um, to knock off all those little sharp pieces that you were worried about. Yep. All right, so I'm going to do my first coat over the top of this guy. <laughs> well, first of all, I imagine you guys, when you're doing these guesses, like concentrating so hard to type and send the comments out really fast, and then I can imagine, like, winning. Thank you, Mary. I'm going to put the other side first. We legit win the M95. I am going to use, um, I always pour the one, there's one bottle with it open and there's one bottle with a little squeezy pour. I always use the one with it wide open first. Again, remember guys, when you watch me live, um, I have that crazy, crazy expensive vent fan over the top of me, keeping me safe so I don't have to wear a respirator. Oh, if Emily did If It Fits It Ships, actually, Emily has done If It Fits It Ships, and she is not stingy when she does it, because it's a lot of fun to shove a bag full of stuff with you guys. Can you hand me another Part B? Yes. Thanks. Thanks. That one does not have a lot left in it. It doesn't need a lot. So... It's just like a light score, like this, right? Yeah, just gently sand it. Oh, you 
Christ, the timer went off again. I mean, the freaking scale turned off on me. I was, I took too long. Blurgity blurg. Are we doing this every Sunday? No, I'm doing this special because M's here. Thank you, Diane. All right. Perfect. All right, so, oops, oh shoot. I just put the wrong end of the stir stick in there. Now it's dulling it. Is that okay? Yes. Here, do it on camera so I can see what you're doing. So what she's doing is she's using 22 grit, 220, 2, 220 grit sandpaper. And she is just scuffing the top surface. And really what that's doing is knocking off any Sharpies. Um, you can also, if there's some big pits and stuff, you can sand a little bit. Oh, if you're gonna, are you doing your next coat with um, glitter, right? Double glitter peekaboo? Sure. Okay, yeah, because if you're doing paint, then you would want that surface one to be super smooth, but you're doing double glitter. All right, here we go. Oh no, Cassie. Someday, Cass. Um, and if you don't know about our group wide competition, we do have a competition in the group. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's group wide. It's called the battle box. I believe there's a few battle boxes left, but only there was nine left on Friday. So I don't know what would be there today, but check that's going to be under today's deals. And it is a box where everybody in the group gets the same goodies and they, we compete. It's a big group wide competition. There's a theme and you use your interpretation of whatever that theme is, and you create a Tumblr and you post it to the group, and there's always a, a group hashtag um, to follow and to post with that hashtag so we can, all of my team members can see all the cups that are coming in and uh, vote on the cups. Ooh, we got. So this is super smooth. I got some chunky boys in there. Now I feel bad about touching all the touchy touchies. What happens next? I'm just doing my layer. Oh, I gotta put leopards on, right? Yep. Did, did you get your leopards from over in that yeah. shelf? I didn't make it mad at me because it took hers. Well, that's what they're for. Let's see if there's any bigger leopards. It's just a couple little loose, dark spots. There's a lot of berries, butterflies. Okay, I can see that um, my epoxy's already starting to get gummy, so I'm gonna stop touching it. So I didn't get all the way around because I was being a little bit more particular about what was going on on the, without contaminating glitter. So the, this little bit that's in the front, I'm not even gonna try to push that down the cup because it's um, already starting to get a little gummy because I was being a little more particular. Oh, you pulled an I did not seal, no. This is all put on by Quick Cure. Pull an Emily. I stopped touching. You kept touching. You couldn't not stop touching. I just pull those out and stick them on one at a time. Right there. No, you weed it out the outside edge. Oh, and that's right. You put use you transfer tape. The tweezers. Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch. I'm waiting on my. Will your cup be once you are finished? Uh, no, it will not. This will be 3D. The the glass chips will be 3D. Everything else will be smooth, but this will be this this glass piece will be 3D. But if you see, I specifically didn't go down too far so that the part where you would be holding your hand down here is going to be smooth. For a beginner, would you recommend Quick Cure? Um, this is Emily's first glitter cup, 
and she used it. So yes, if you, especially if you watched us from the beginning and you saw how we used it, um, the Quick Cure is very, very fun to work with, um, especially for instant gratification. Thank you, Elizabeth. You guys know that these uh, geodes are a big part of Little Lee and Rose. It's how we started. Um, and this one is gonna keep going. It's gonna get some more details. This is the base of this cup. So, let me get my glove off. This one's, the glove is stuck to the, ba the baby wipe. I got my baby wipe stuck to my wipe, my glove. All right, so this, always keep in mind guys, please remember when we're working with epoxy, we have a giant vent fan directly above our heads and sucking the air right out of this room um, so that we are safe work with working without respirators. Um, the Emmet is this beautiful holographic teal. Um, we've got, so Emmet, um, Xavier is this um, dark lavender right here. And then Spencer is the very pale lavender right here. Those are all swag bag glitters. Then Naveen is the dark purple right here. And that is our open socks. So you can find that on our website right now. It's N-A-V-E-E-N. And then out, outer edge right here, this is Wayne, the dark, dark midnight blue. And that is a sub box glitter. He was only available through that sub box. Um, but if you want a color that's similar to him, um, that is going to be um, uh, Tristan, T-R-I-S-T-A-N. That's gonna be your glitter color that's gonna be close to um, Wayne. Um, so we've been playing with the quick cure today, but you can do all of these things with regular epoxy. I have a whole bunch of other techniques that I teach. You can jump on our regular channel. We have over probably close to 150 videos available for you teaching, uh, working with these tumblers. Um, um, for the battle box, you have from the 7th to the 7th. So they officially, the battle boxes go on sale on the 7th of every month at 6 p.m. And you have until the following 7th to submit it. And then on the 8th is when we announce the winners. Um, Diane, then avoid pink because pink geodes look like a giant vajazzled, vajazzle. Yeah, we laugh every time we see somebody do a pink one. They're like, do they not see it? Do they not see what they just made? But yes, I don't make I don't make pink geodes, unless I need to make something for my gynecologist. World's best gyno. So I'm gonna take the back off of this, right, and then this cheetahs will stay, and then I put transfer tape on them. Yep. <laughs> yep. See, oh, well, and there, if you needed something for your um, gynecologist, or um, yeah. There you go. I just gave you a gift. Make them a pink geo. We all give gifts to our gynecologist. Uh, you you know what? It's but it's because you haven't had kids. People do it for people their gynos that they've had kids. I actually really like my gyno. And their labor and deliveries. I mean, I didn't, and I actually was in a, in a mom group, and they were talking about it, and I they're like, "What do I give?" Them? And I'm like, we, "You give gifts to the whatever," and they're like, "Wow, like, that's their job. I paid them thirty thousand dollars to deliver my baby." But some people feel like a very big connection to them and whatever. I was like, I mean, I get it. I, I don't think you should not give them something, but I never did. So question. But now I know if I ever have one I really like, I'm going to make up a pink geode. So question because. She says my kids are feral. They are feral. Um, where do I put this? Because you like to save these. I'm not going to save it. Try the rip method. Just going, pulling it off like a band-aid. Well, I was trying to No, save. like rip it like a Band-Aid. Real fast. That's not like a Band-Aid. If that's how you would ever pull off my Band-Aid, I would punch you in perfect. the face. There's like three little things. I know, but if that's how you pull a Band-Aid off, when you say rip it off like a Band-Aid, I would punch you in the face. That would hurt so bad. You know what? Slow. That's like getting the slow Brazilian wax. Like, like a sugar wax? I'm going to wax you. I'm going to wax you. Just <laughs> When I say Band-Aid, like like this. But I didn't think it was necessary. I was gonna save that. I know you weren't, but I was. <sighs> All right. Really, really slow. All right, I'm gonna put this guy down. So 
This guy is gonna get like two solid coats. I did the quick cure over the top to hold the glitter in place. I still gotta do a little bit more down in here. Um, I'm not gonna fuss with it until I know that this is not tacky anymore, the last little layer that I did. So, um, but once I get the first layer of quick cure over it, I would just put a solid layer of like, um, blip, blip, blip. when you put too much epoxy, flood coat. I would do a hard, a solid flood coat over the top of this guy. A lot of people ask, how do you cover these? And I just flood coat right over the top of the, the glass chips. I don't pause or, um, I, I don't try to leave it out. I cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it. All right. Do I need gloves to hold touches or no? Um, how are we at? I would, just because you don't want to leave fingerprints and stuff. It's It's got a mild tack to it. So oh. where's the transfer stuff over here? Do I just stick it to my shirt first? Yes. Where's, can you bring up comments? Oh yeah. YouTube? Yeah. So everybody on Facebook, um, if you jump over to us on YouTube, we are live dead on dead center here on YouTube. I need some scissors for you. There's a blue bonnet Jeep ad. Cause I get comments, but it, it doesn't like to leave the comments up. Oh, Bronco is epic. Bronco is one of my favorites. Yeah, he's like the most beautiful, like, rose gold copper rose gold it's kind of a it's in between rose gold and copper yeah most of our glitters in the bag they're pretty but out of the bag like in real light and stuff they're just stunning so i got my shirt first well i got glitter on my shirt just one stick to my shirt i would do two or three um so Oh, it's not this part that you stick. You gotta grab the things first and then stick the whole thing to your shirt. I didn't know that. Yeah, you want this part sticky. You want the spots to not be sticky. Okay. I take her my eyes off of her. I've never done this before. I know. Summer. I need a credit card. It's over there. There's a squeegee over there. Yes, you can use alcohol inks. You can use alcohol inks on glass chips just like you would on glitter. Yep. And then you just want to seal it in with spray paint. I feel like that's not the right squeegee. Vanessa, what is your struggle? What are you struggling with the most? Um, when I say use quick cure versus UV, in what instance? So you can use quick cure. Quick here, you just mix and would add as your base. You would use quick here, add as your base, stick it on, let it sit, and that's it. UV, you would put the UV resin down, put your ch chips down, and then put a UV light over it or put it out in the sunshine. And it will it will cure up just like the quick here. I don't know where that is, so I'm just going to use a credit card. The main difference is if you use UV resin, you have to cover it with epoxy afterwards no matter what because UV resin is not FDA compliant, so you have to seal it in with a regular one. Oh, peach cider and Lily and Rose is perfect. My epoxy gets fish eyes. I've tried adding less, mixing it longer, wearing gloves, and it just cures like lumpyish. What brand of epoxy are you using, Vanessa? Because all I can, I've used so many brands, but all epoxy cures different and has different tech, um, properties to it. So um, if you just let me know what brand it is, I can probably work you through it. Thank you, they look like green M&Ms. Yes, there you go, Cassie. And UV has, yes, UV light resin is, it doesn't cure up until you hit UV light. Turn it and go the other way. Yeah. You're Farney, you're Farney, you're Farney. Oh, thank you, Erica. We're glad to have you, girl. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the tr crazy train that is Lillian Rose. 
So anybody just joining us on YouTube, we are live in our Facebook group um, Monday through Friday, and my moderators go live a lot on the weekends. We're always teaching new stuff. Um, I've just started toying with this whole going live on YouTube thing. We have a lot of fun over here. A lot of our regulars uh, join us over here as well. Um, and uh, so it's been a little blast. But if you, um, I was using Pudo Resin, but just switched to Amazing Clearcast. The first cup I did was with an alcohol ink one and Um, so Vanessa, if you use too much alcohol ink in your resin, um, it will, um, it will change the properties of the resin and you'll have some issues. Um, you want to use, uh, and uh, you see people using alcohol ink a lot and it does work. It's great. Um, but if you're a beginner, stick with epoxy dyes, um, alcohol inks, because they change the properties of the epoxy. It takes a little bit more of a skill level and, um, time having used it, um, but yeah, and the dime size thing could also be from, um, it could be from a piece of dust hitting onto your cup. It could be, Summer, are you available to send epoxy to the UK? Yes, Keza, go to our website. We ship to the UK. We, use, we have a flat, flat rate shipping fee. Um, we have a lot of members and they were just like, please, please, please. So we opened up international shipping. Um, so yes. Um, so fish eyes can be from a bunch of different things. Um, Vanessa, I don't know what Pudo Resin is, but I do know Amazing Clearcast. Um, Pudo Resin, like I said, I'm unknown. That just sounds like there's a bunch of brands now coming out um, because epoxy art is becoming so popular. Um, but fish eyes generally happen, and when it sounds like what you have, so if it's like a little dime size, it sounds like a, a, it's either um, domed up on the surface where if you, if you apply your epoxy and you stop, but you miss a little spot, it will dome up and it won't actually go on that spot unless you rub over it. Um, I always say um, that if, I always kind of babysit my cups. If you, if you watch me on some of my older um, YouTubes or my lives when I talk about it, is I babysit my cups. So if you're watching your cup, the fish, eye, fish eyes usually show up within the first 20 minutes of it um, rolling. Um, and if you see a fish eye, just take your glove finger and rub it really thoroughly over the top of that fish eye and then move away and it will self level. And generally whatever it is, whether it's a little piece of dust that had created a fish eye or some kind of oils from your skin or just doming, a doming situation happened by rubbing it a little bit within the first 20 to 30 minutes of it being applied to your cup. It's not going to damage your cup. Um, but what it's going to do is it's going to get rid of that fish eye for you. So just give it a little squish over that fish eye. Hi, Cindy, Nam Nakani. Oh yes, and the different, so Erica, UV resin, um, so UV resin um, is not FDA compliant. Our, our, our other resins are, um, and UV cures under a UV light and our quick cure is just, you mix it and it cures up. So when do alcohol inks, wait, so when doing alcoholics, can I wait and let it spin for 20 minutes to see if I get fish eyes and then apply the inks or epoxy dyes? Yes, but what you wanna do, um, is you want to add your inks into epoxy before you put it onto the cup. You can drip the inks across the top of the surface of the tumbler, but that's going if if it's not done correctly or if it's certain types of epoxy just don't like that, you're going to create some issues. But if you mix it into a little bit, so if you just take a little bit of epoxy, make sure it dies into there and stir it. You're going to see if there's an issue right away in the cup before you put it on your tumbler, and then you could just drip it onto your tumbler. Um, Sarah, it has to be pretty dang close. Carla, you're so cute. Yes, if you guys are watching and you guys can go over and give us a thumbs up, we really appreciate it. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't make us more popular, get us more views. It just makes us feel better over here. So give us a thumbs up, guys. We appreciate it. Um, so Emily is... Feeling. Nope, you're dealing with what we all deal with. It's a nightmare. The nightmare of weeding and working with vinyl. Do you want me to do it? I'm generally quite quickly quick yeah. at this. Sorry, some of it's just like sticking to the backing. Yeah, it's because it's been um, cut too deep. Can you hand me the pin pin? 
it's cut just a little too deep. Um, do you want to tell them, show them the cup with all the glitters and tell them about the swag bag? Because they're going to get close to running out of hours. So this, these are the swag bag glitters for June, right? Yeah, June. And we are closing the swag bag at uh, midnight central time. Uh, the swag bag include there's three different swag bags there is the gold swag bag and that has four different glitters plus a bunch of different goodies in it and it's valued at 35 dollars but i'll tell you that the contents of this month's bag are actually 42 dollars and we pay for your shipping so you don't pay for shipping on these orders unless you're overseas unless you're overseas um the diamond swag bag is valued at 75 dollars and it includes these six glitters well six of these glitters um and that one is 75 dollars um but i'll tell you this month's bag is valued over 80 dollars and then there's big daddy which is actually a combination of the both of them so there won't be any repeats um but the big daddy is a hundred dollars you get a ten dollar savings for um basically doubling up the bags so whew. shush and you get everything that's in both bags so you get both overstuffed bags. bags and it's a big daddy and this, this is something that we will close sales on today. We, it's available, it's always available through us, you guys, but we do close sales from the 13th through the 17th to- 16th. Sorry, the 16th, to make sure that we don't double up and accidentally um, miss somebody in one swag or the next. Um, and we do ship them internationally. Um, International does have a 20 flat rate fee of shipping for $25, but we will combine your orders. So if you have other things you wanna get on the website, um, you can you can combine all your goodies and, um, together into one shipping uh, purchase, one shipping bag. And so you only have to pay the one shipping fee. Right, and so this month's swag bag has um, Spencer in it, who's this like gorgeous kind of like holographic, but also has some like iridescence. It's like purpley, purpley green. It's got um, Sebastian, which is like a, um, kind of like a fine, no, it's not fine, it's kind of like dad bod. Green. There's Xavier. Explain what Dad Bod is. Oh, Dad Bod. So there's a fine glitter, which is uh, like very, very fine, like this one, Cruz, that's coming out. These are uh, a fine, fine, pure white with no offshoots of any greens or purples or whatever. He's just a pure, pure white. Um, and that's a fine glitter. It's it's almost like um, it's a fine glitter. I don't know what to say. Um, but then there's also chunky glitters like like this one that would have like kind of like bigger par particles in it. And this is a dad bod and he's kind of in between. He's not fat and he's not skinny. He just looks good. He's a little, he's a little, little ch baby chunk. So if you are new to Little Ambrose and you've never seen us live or don't know anything about us, I have triplet girls. They're five, they turn five in August. And I, my entire life, wanted boys. And so it was kind of a joke. Like, I never got a name boys. I had boys' names all picked out and ready to go. And then we found out we were pregnant with girl. We found out we were pregnant. We found out we were pregnant with twins. Then we found out we were pregnant with triplets. And then we found out they're all girls. And uh, so, yeah, I never got a name boys. So all of our glitters have boys' names. So I got to use all the boys' names. I've, now we have all the boys. So all of our glitter has boys' names. And so kind of our jokes around is always kind of like masculine. So if you see, we have Emmett, Xavier, Spencer, um, Naveen, Wayne. All of our glitters have boys' names. So, oh, you're just straight up putting a square down. Did you stick it to your shirt first? Yes, twice. Okay. You just... You didn't want anything on the other side, huh? Look, there's got another one. All right. And I don't ex really expect them all to stick. Is this not what I should have done? Seriously, guys, I can't take my eyes off <laughs> for, for a second. I'm just over here, -de 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 -de, and I look over, and I'm like, God! So should I not? Well, I guess I it's mean, too late, right? You could have dispersed them a little bit. But they might not all stick. See? I am the one who's been doing this for years. This is Emily's first like glitter cup, double, especially double glitter peekaboo cup. Then you should so that's what I'm saying. Give me more attention. No, I'm saying like everybody can do these. Yes, and we have, do you have an Amazon shopping list? Oh, maybe they will all stick. Ah. Oh, so Laura, I'm not ignoring you. I apologize. So if you go on our Amazon shopping list, it's literally in rose backslash shop, shop no, amazon.com 
backslash shop backslash Little Ian Rose. Can somebody drop that link for me? It's actually on the top of the website. If you go to the uh, oh, yes. I Want Glitter .com website, on the top left is There's our Amazon egg. link. There's our TikTok link. There's our Snapchat link. All the links are up on the top left. Yeah, so you Just can get our Amazon link by clicking on the Amazon store and go to um, Body Protection. And there's going to be, I found some really inexpensive half face masks that are perfect for what you need to do. And then we've got some inexpensive full face masks. The full face masks are a little bit more expensive, but if you have a sensitivity to um, epoxy, you want to wear a full face. So I've worn both full face and half face. Um, I now have this crazy ventilation system in here, but it's very, very expensive. So it's not practical for everybody to do. Um, so we do have those on that list for you guys. Oh, Danette, just dive in. And I always say, go to your Dollar Tree, go to a dollar store, Walmart, and get some really inexpensive like glass cups, like glass wine glasses, or just little cheap cups. Practice on those and have fun. Just enjoy it. That's what I did. I, I just toyed with things. I mean, I already had the basic concept of how to work with epoxy down. Um, so, But I still played with dollar store cups. Also, I dollar store wine glasses are no different than the wine glasses you buy at Walmart, but they're only 99 cents or a dollar. And I would take the wine glasses and turn them into something absolutely beautiful and, and upsell it like 30 times. Um, so it's a really, what are you doing? Yo, I'm here. getting more Oh, I see, spots. I see. Yep, yep, yep. I got you. I'm doing um, right. All right. So let's see. My cup is ready to go. I'm going to do the next coat and I'm going to get the um, quick cure done on this part. So if you want to get signed up for swag, um, this beautiful Emmet. This color is one of the swag bag glitters. This is a swag bag glitter. This one right here and this light soft lavender. Um, these are in the diamond bag this month or diamond and big daddy. And today's the last day to get signed in for this month. So if you want to get this upcoming bag that will ship on the 15th, you want to be signed in by today. <laughs> Emily has her own method. It's the Emily method. Listen, all you haters, somebody's going to want this cup and I'm going to be like, no, this is my cup, haters. Haters, haters. I need some gloves. We also have, on the Amazon shopping list, we have all the tumblers, the, the FIFA bottles, the nitro gloves. Everything is on our Amazon shopping list. Um, I have used everything that's on the shopping list. I always, I even buy things specifically, even if I don't need them, if I'm going to put it on the Amazon list, I will buy it first to make sure it's indeed what I think it's going to be and as good as I think it's going to be. And if it doesn't meet the snuff, then I don't use it and I don't put it on the Amazon shopping list. So, um, yep. The Amazon is legit. I'm taking this so I can see comments. Oh, I see. You, I just created Oh, I'm still learning, you guys. You guys see me. I screw up all the time. I'm the worst at getting my labels on straight because I'm always on camera and I'm trying to like tilt in and lean over and that's my joke. It's like I don't put on decals straight. I can reuse this thing, right? Thank you, Christy. Right. We have a lot of fun together. I yes, can you can reuse that, yes. And she said, no hate. We love you, Emily. Oh, girl, I'm not worried about hate. Only people that worry about hate are people that have, are self-conscious. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. The only person that I care about. No shame. No shame. No shame. Listen, you know, it's all it's right, right? Like, I just got to be good by me and by my moral compass. And if somebody doesn't like it, that's their Her problem. moral compass looks left. All right. Well, Dollar Tree is already one to five dollars. They they're calling it Dollar Store Plus, but they already have they've had in there for years things that are more than a dollar. It's nothing new. They're just officially gonna call a spade a spade. Look at all those that came. Oh, farts. Farts is right. 1086 tear. I'm cool with this. 
So the quick here does need to be measured almost dead on, but that's why it's nice. Start with the one that has the wide open hole and then and get your amount set and then use the one that has a little squeezy salad dressing hole so that you have a little bit more control of what you add. So it's a lot easier to get it perfect inside the cup. So I'm going to stir it up. Yeah, Emily and I have no shame. This is why we're on camera with mom buns and no makeup and hangovers. I mean, let's be honest. I didn't even put on a bra today. I'm just wearing a sports bra. I'm wearing a sports bra too. I don't have a hangover. I had like four sips of beer. Everyone kept going, oh, you know, something about my beer. I'm like, oh, I'm just holding this one. So people stop trying to see if I need a beer. I just, I clearly have one in my hand. So I don't need another one. I'm not a big drinker. Well, and I didn't have that much on the boat. Only like 12 jello shots. I only had two jello shots on the boat. But then like I, people kept throwing me a beer, like a, a cider. And then some ding ding would like dump a bunch of lake water in it. And then, ugh. By ding ding, do you mean yourself? No. Belly I mean, flopping onto the lily pad? Hot rod. That was funny. That was worth it. All right. Here we go. Floppity moppity. So I'm going to go ahead and drip this into the... So question, if some of these decals have like a little ripple in them, it doesn't matter because I'm pulling them off anyways, right? Yeah. So I'm just getting this quick here down in here into these glass chips. There we go. So if you see what I'm doing, I am going in here and I'm going in a line like this. And this is gonna help me to keep from contaminating the glitter colors as well. And then I am just taking my finger and going straight down. So I'm not spreading my finger from one glitter color to the next. I'm literally keeping all the blue in line with the blue and the, the light color in charge in front of the light color. There's one wonky color. Okay, go along right here on the lip. Okay, there we go. So now all the glitter should be sealed in. There we go. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna let it sit. Oh, Angie, the dump cup is already spoken for, girl. Isn't it pretty? Well, the dump bucket, prize has already been awarded and our amazing moderator has asked us to send this to her and so we will because she's awesome our moderators are amazing volunteers Is that, who's getting that jessica hernandez well that's because this cup is inspired by her that's why yeah. yep jessica Na hernandez is what gave emily the inspiration for the cup she's working on oh hi annette all right guys so Emily's next step here is gonna to be to spray paint her cup. Not screw it up. What? You're just cute. I'm doing good. You'll see. I don't have a, I don't have a pole to go open this thing. You want here, you can have this one. Do you want this phone? Nope. Right, so that cup is going to not stay there. It's too heavy. 
Oh, stupid white thing. It's... Comes off better with a pin pen. It's okay, I don't need that. It's... Are you done? Yes. Did you hang up? No. <laughs> I'll give you guys a progress shot. Just let me get one more spot. There's my progress shot so far. I've still got some more leopards to do. It's very Lisa Frank. It's not bright enough for Lisa Frank. I know. Gotta be neon. You're gonna have to do some more cheetah spots though because. No, there's you, all those. Okay, you got doubled up right there. Oh yeah. You can save that guy. That's not a good spot. That's not a good spot. You're worried about that one? Yeah. <laughs> that's the one I'm worried about. That's the one that's gonna screw up the cup. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna log off, guys. Um, Emily is going to get her cheetah spots on, then she's gonna spray paint this white, and then we're we gonna finish it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she the only time know. looks like. I'm getting kind of hungry. I have ceviche. Oh, even the tap, tap, tap couldn't do it. Progress, Emily. Good job. Everyone's saying good job. Well, this is where I got to last time. I got the cheetah spots on my cup last time, and then it died. My cup died. A horrible death last time. But that was Jeff's fault. He turned off the thing. He turned off returner. After all that work, he turned off returner. He didn't know any better. He's still so handsome. All right, we're going to sign off. We will see you guys on the next live. All right? Later, Gators. Bye, guys. I don't know how to turn it on.